This comes from Sports Gamers Online. I've referenced them in the past. They've been pretty reputable when it comes to NBA 2K. I think this is the reason why this is making a little bit of new noise. Um, but, 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 why is this site not loading correctly? Goofy ass site. Let me see if I can open it in another. Right. The 12th uh, comes out every weekend. I got to catch up on. Okay, I got to watch that and the Penguin. I was dumb excited. I was too. This is the best part about um undisputed <laughs> how we go get what we want because even the undisputed community i see they're starting to switch up people are starting to agree like yeah you can get past the hook spam but i've seen glitches of people flying out of the ring the ghost punches connecting you can get past the but the thing is like there's not enough tools that reward and the, uh, things that reward you for actually punishing people it's still mostly a slug it's not a boxing game bro the shit sucks also, the career mode sucks. But anyways, new fight night in development will release this console generation. Uh, since 2021, rumors of EA Sports reviving its fight night series have swirled around the Internet. However, according to Insider Gaming's Mike Straw, sources have revealed that EA's boxing game is officially being developed and could be released during this console generation. During Mike Straw's live stream, he discussed how Fight Night has a stop and go development up to this point. According to Straw, the original plan was to release a new boxing game between the next two UFC titles, but EA paused development and continued to work on the game in spurts. So it's been in development. They just they're taking their time with it, I guess. This, ad, this site has way too many fucking ads. Straw statement matches the sports gamers online reported in 2021. VGC suggested they've seen a company-wide email saying EA Sports is pausing development on Fight Night to work on the new UFC game. Understandable, UFC is bigger right now. During his live stream, Straw stated that the publisher is working on the game again, but is unsure when it will be released, so they resume development. Uh, EA is once again on Fight Night, Straw said. The end. They didn't know when it was coming, but they do expect it this generation. Later in the show, Straw guessed that since a Fight Night game would have to undergo a complete development cycle, it would be released 2027-2028. With, uh, with the recent release of Undisputed fans constantly requesting for EA's boxing game have resurfaced tenfold. Bring it back, baby. Bring it back. This is good. I mean, this is the, maybe this was Undisputed's plan all along to inspire EA to finally make um, Fight Night. My question to the UFC fans is UFC full of microtransactions? I really haven't been keeping up with it. Is it full of my that that's my concern about Fight Night coming back? This is the last one came out what like 2011 or something like that, Fight Night Champion. I was like I was in high school when that game came out. It was a different era. No, yes, and it's trash. I'm not trying to have some type of my team boxing mode where you got to pay for for Mike Tyson. Next thing you know, I have to go online with some bullshit ass 60 overall boxer fighting nothing but pink diamond Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali's like I'm good off that it was 2010 it's been a while that would be my only concern with fight night it's mostly yeah I'm cool with cosmetics like that's a happy medium um as long as they don't fuck with the gameplay I don't care about no damn skins um will we ever get an official sports game without them again mm hmm Nah, they don't do that. I'm seeing conflicting reports in there. Either way, I hope it's true. I hope they. I hope if they do come back too. I don't care what nobody says. I know some people say their favorite was um, like Knockout Kings, like Fight Night Three, whatever. My favorite was always Fight Night Champion, because I felt like mechanically it was just as good as the older ones, but like the story mode was fucking fire. That was a, if you have not like I'd argue Fight Night Champion is one of the greatest sports games of any sport ever because not only was the online multiplayer fun but the story was fucking engaging um so i hope they stick with the format of fight night champion like create a fun story mode behind it don't just do like give us some boxes and throw hands i mean i'll take it but for uh, round four was dope but champion took it to another level soundtrack gotta be fired too ready to rumble was probably the only boxing game i enjoyed that don't count that's arcade boxing let's get ready to rumble it was a good game though um, so I hope they bring it back and they find ways to innovate it. Do -do 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 -do. So yeah, if if they if there is an announcement, they're saying 2027. If that's true, the earliest you're probably gonna get an announcement is maybe late 2025, early 2026. If the if the 2027 is the just remember where you heard it here first, my stream, bitches. Um but nothing's confirmed. Nothing's confirmed, nothing is confirmed. Shout out to the 800 people we got in here. If you're new, hit the follow button. Oh, 
In the Keeping It in the Realm of Sports, NBA 2K announced a new basketball game mode? No. They announced a new dodgeball anti-gravity space mode called Gravity Ball. It just came out today. Dooms, I seen Dooms was streaming it. For $8, you get an all new location in the city. They have a 3v3 and a 5v5 mode, and you can earn XP and VC. This is not free. This is a game mode you have to pay $8 for. Basketball game. We have lost the plot. This is a shame too, because a, a big patch just came out for this game. Season two, right? And in that patch, they made the shooting easier. The shooting had a, a, a bigger skills gap. I liked it. It didn't bother me. Once I mastered the shot stick, I liked the shooting. It didn't bother me this year. But a lot of people couldn't get good. They bitched and complained. So now the developers dropped the big patch like two days ago, and they made the shooting easier. And now everybody can shoot now. Um, so they ruined the game, all while not fixing one of the biggest issues with it, which is the interior defense and then the shot contest system. You will play amazing defense, hand will be right in their face, and then on the feedback when they shoot, it says wide open. It like the defense is just fucking broken, bro. It happens. It happens every year. It happens every year. If you guys want to drop DLC, just drop 15, 16, 17 parks. Thanks. Man, what the fuck y'all going on? <laughs> Fix the gameplay. I can't even read that. Shout out to Swante. Said, what the fuck? There go Ace right there. I just want to play basketball. iPod King Carter. This joint got a rank mode. He looking forward to it. What the hell? Siggy said it needs a BR mode. Badge plug dog. <laughs> Most people are, are like pissed. They're not happy about this shit. The shot stick delay was all that needed to be fixed. Right. And they fixed that part, but then they made it easier. So yeah, $8, you can play some space dodgeball in NBA 2K, and then they wonder why people say, fuck Ronald and fuck Mike Wang, bro. This shit is goofy. Uh, they took out the all-star team up for gravity ball for gravity ball. Next, we're going to get mech battles and shit like that. Yeah, here's the actual patch notes. I mean, the only thing that really matters, I think, was like page four or five, which I mean, I explained it already. Fucking, they fixed the shooting. Um, and then they also fixed the glitch, the, uh, the post-scoring glitch. Uh, so you can't spam that shit. They also said the drop step's not as, as effective. They fixed things that I thought needed to be fixed, but then they didn't fix things that still need to be fixed, which is the actual defense. Um, it's like 16 pages. I ain't reading all this shit. If you want the patch notes, you haven't seen it. It's right here. Um, remember, it was 2K that came out. I was really feeling, felt different, new. 2K community complained so much they changed it. I was cool with 2K25. I was cool with the shooting. It didn't bother me, like, but... I think the issue is, and I think it's like, it's the VC culture, the microtransactions. It's really creeped into the mind frame of a lot of people. They want that instant gratification. They've gotten used to just being good day one. The idea of actually practicing and getting good. Like I remember for the shot stick, for the square button, I was not hitting. And I remember I had like two or three days where like, I was going like two for 12. I was shooting bad. Like they were making fun of me in the fucking group chat the discord and i was like bro i am not this fucking bad at 2k i've never been this bad so what i did one day i hopped into my court and i went into the practice facility and i just kept calling for the ball and i just started practicing with the stick it took me about an hour before it clicked on how to shoot with the stick once it clicked for me i just started greening it took an hour of practice these niggas don't want to do that bro get good uh, post scores are always broken every year but it was yeah it was worse this year because there was a glitch where you could green everything uh, did you see the Undisputed team put out a statement saying they aren't updating the game till December? Really? Let's see. Undisputed. Yeah, they just want to run it. So, yeah, what's happened is, and I predicted it because the shooting was going to get hard. Everybody said that Um, everybody started making fucking, uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. they started making rim runners. Yeah, we just talked about Gravity Ball. 
Is, is this the actual tweet? Thank you for your support for Undisputed so far. We are aware of the current problems, particularly with the online parts of the game, and have been taking your feedback on board. Our first of many updates will address key issues as well as deliver additional improvements and will release in December. This game's dead. Dead. I said it. December is crazy. I just paid $80. <laughs> I literally I literally seen a, a TikTok. I should have saved that shit just to make fun of the Undisputed community. This nigga got hit so hard, he flew out the ring. And then the match just locked up. He was in the crowd, bro. I said, and y'all charging $80 for this shit. Okay. Yeah, that's a long time. You know what comes out in December? Marvel Rivals. I'm not playing Undisputed. I'm good. But I'm an asshole when I say these things, bro. It is not a boxing game when everybody can just stand there and spam um, power punches, which that should be a strategy in a boxing game. But there also has to be pros and cons to it. If you ever been in a fight, you know if you throw your whole shoulder in a damn in a punch, you're gonna use more energy. So you should gas out quicker. But the stamina recovery is way too quick, so people can just spam power punches and then they punch through your jabs when you try to counter punch. I said this is not. And the niggas try to tell me I got low ring IQ. What? My father was a boxer. I grew up watching boxing. I used to play the hell out of Fight Night Champions. That's like one on one. You weave the punch. Hit him with a fucking jab. After about two or three times, you're going to open that eye up, bruh. What the fuck are we talking about, dude? You don't got no ring IQ. My bad. I don't want to sit here and have to weave a bunch of fucking power punches. I don't respect that shit. Um, oh, well, it wasn't. Yeah, it just wasn't a good game. But I said what's going to kill this game is the community. Like, it's it sounds crazy, but, like, I do feel like communities can kill games. This community is disillusioned. They're just happy that a boxing game has finally come out. It's been a long time since a boxing game came out. 2010, Fight Night Champion. So they're just excited to have anything. The problem with accepting anything is how that's how you end up in an abusive relationship. This game fucking sucks. Uh, that's literally a fundamental drill. A fundamental drill. But I don't know anything about boxing, apparently. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, I saw Jinx got announced for 2XKO which makes me think another beta test is coming soon. I don't know shit about Jinx. I'm going to assume this is a fan favorite because I saw a lot of positive feedback. Does this do it for y'all? And if you haven't heard, 2XKO, our upcoming... Two a real fighting game. ...will keep the arcane train rolling when it's released in 2025. On November 11th, they will release the clip? an updated look for Jinx and 2XKO. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Sign up for play tests at play2xko.com for a chance to test out some of your arcane... More of your favorite league characters. Yeah, she cool. Let me see what Fear the Deer link. So she's coming. Be aware. Nothing too crazy there. Is this it right here? This might be it. Let me see. Mm, there it is. There it is, baby. Oh, Lord! I sent him over the top rope. You're going to actually show it? Mm, I think that's the same glitch, but he. this isn't the clip I saw. The clip I saw, it knocked him out the ring, and he was literally in the crowd, like, walking around, and it, like, locked the game up. But I think the same thing happened to him, but he cut the camera. Like, you should have shown it, dude. Because it looks like he flew out the cam out the goddamn uh, screen. This is a good boxing game, huh? Uh, Desync as hell. Desync as hell, bruh. Uh, but, but I'm saying, though, Rumbleverse needs to come back. No, it don't. That game sucked, dude. Just like most Dragon Ball Sparking fans, y'all niggas suck. Uh, I've been seeing multiple reports floating around that Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is plagued with cheaters, which is crazy because uh, one of the reasons why I think this community is insufferable is because every Dragon Ball Sparking Zero uh, player thinks they're the greatest gamer of all time. They backseat the fuck out of you. They don't want to let you learn how to play the game, but then tell you you fucking suck. But people have been posting clips of saying people are using exploits in the game. On top of that, I'm seeing a lot of clips on social media of people complaining. The only thing people play online is Beerus, Ultra Instinct Goku, Gogeta, Vegito. You know, the characters, Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta. People just playing the same 10 characters. I said it. I said it. I think this is a good game. I'm going to say it three times so it doesn't even get fucking misconstrued. This is the only game I've ever said. I, I give it an 8 out of 10. And the community got mad at me. I think this is a good game. But you know what I think is going to kill it? The fucking community. You are you people. And if, what I'm about to say, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. You people are not beating the Hawaiian t-shirt fucking Tang sipping 
No shower, no soap allegations. You niggas act like losers when I played this game. One of the worst streams I ever had. I'm in the tutorial, the very first thing. Press square, square, square. I don't think you can handle that. Then I tell the chat, chill out. I look in the comment section. Half the comments did agree with me. There were people on Hokage highlights who were like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, them niggas was wild. But the other half, niggas is like, look at he getting so triggered. I wasn't triggered. I'm asking you to ha just chill out, bruh. Chill the fuck. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all are not beating the lack of socialization allegations, bro. We know you niggas sip tank. We can tell by your behavior. Then, then I'm going on a whole tangent about you loser ass niggas, bro. I've never played a game. I'm not going to say never, but it's been a while since I played a game where the community made me not want to play it. Like it, it just insufferable, bro. Fucking, I put out this tweet, right? If you were in the stream... Da, 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 da. Where is it at? Da, 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 da. If you were in the stream, it took me like 20 minutes to beat the great eight boss. Now, why is this a big deal? Feral gamers. When the game first came out, freaking it was if you're on Twitter, you know, it was viral on Twitter for like two days. People were bitching and complaining about how hard great ape Vegeta was. They can't beat him to the point where Bandai Namco acknowledged it and said, hey, it's OK to lower the difficulty. I didn't get the game till Friday. I get on the game. I beat it. And I said, I'm not going to lie. I don't think y'all are that good at games. Like, what are we talking about? So I put out this tweet. It was just a joke. I was just joking. It wasn't that serious. It wasn't that serious. I look back at the tweet like 24 hours later. If you go look at this fucking tweet, like a third of the comments, bro, I didn't struggle. I beat it in two. It, everybody got the same story. I beat it in two tries. I beat it in third, three tries. What? Which one is it? Were y'all struggling or not? Just insufferable. Just insufferable. But man, yeah, niggas is lying about that. Now everybody's a pro at the fucking game, bro. It's an easy rage, mate. The ape fight wasn't even that hard. Good game, but just an annoying ass fucking community, bro. How many times do you niggas want to replay the Sand Saga? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Lies detected. These are the type of people who can't spell the odor. You wrote it down for them. I ain't gonna cap. I struggle. There's nothing wrong with struggling, bro. That's all I would say. I was like, I think some of y'all are capping about it. He said they worse than 2K niggas. I get it, though, because I am happy for y'all. Y'all finally got a decent game, although I think it's exactly what I thought. It's it's better than, like, Naruto Ninja Storm in terms of are or arena fighters. It does the little things, but is it going to be big next year? People are talking about this should be at Evo. No, no, I don't think so. Uh-uh. I don't think this should be an Evo game. Let, let, let it be. You niggas need to stay over there. Uh, it's exactly what I expected it to be. It's cool. It's a it's a more polished ar arena fighter, and that's cool. But all these callings for game of the year, y'all need to calm down. We know y'all don't play games when you start screaming that shit. Um, you say Evo is fucking crazy. They, I, yeah, they're calling for this shit to be at Evo. I'm like, I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch niggas teleport. I don't want to watch 20 niggas sign up for this tournament all playing Ultra Instinct Goku and just teleporting back and forth the whole time. I'm good. I'm good off that. That's not a fun watch to me. Uh, a game that literally has unbalanced characters as a design shouldn't be anywhere near Evo. Right. It's supposed to be a casual, fun game. It's supposed to be a cat. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm, I'm just this is just a message to the community. If you guys want this game to last, y'all got to chill out. Y'all got to chill out. It's not that deep. I know people are excited. It's finally got a decent Dragon Ball game. But there's no reason to behave the way because if you really enjoy something and you want it to last, you should welcome people into the community. Don't we don't don't let niggas boot up the fucking tutorial and tell them how terrible they are. They're like, that's fine. I'll just turn the game off. I don't got to promote this shit. We'll see in three months, six months. You said this shit dead in two months, bro. Like I said, we'll see in three months what the hype is. Uh, people are confusing this as something new when it's in a continuation of Tenki Tenkaichi games. Uh, they were just calling it Sparking in Japan. True, it was called Sparking in Japan. You are right about that. Yeah, I think, and I think, it, I think it's a cool game. Uh, I'm happy for the Dragon Ball fans, but you guys are not beating those allegations of being insufferable anime weebs. And this is coming from somebody named the Black Okage. Matter of fact, I um, did I save it? I had it. Let me show you how insufferable these niggas are. I put this in the group chat. I'm gonna clown this nigga, actually. I think I did save it in my guys, though. Let me check real quick. Because I need y'all to see, like, actual evidence of how insufferable these niggas are. Yeah, I did. Here we go. I put this in the group chat the other day. This is a comment from Hokage Highlights, right? 
Laugh my ass off, bruh. You're like a week late. We've been playing this since 6 p.m. or the 7th. It's the 14th now. So I didn't have Dragon Ball Sparking Zero day one because I wanted a hard copy. I collect games for preservation reasons, okay? I, I like to get physical copies whenever I can. I bought the $100 edition so I can get it early. And Amazon, I, they lost my copy or something like that. So I try, I literally drove around trying to find a copy and I couldn't. And then I said, fuck it on Friday finally. And I bought a digital copy. But that's why I did not play day one because Amazon lost my shit. And then he says, I know I've been watching all week. If you knew, if you knew that I didn't have a copy, why are you trying to get on me? Cause I wasn't there day one. What, what's the laugh my ass off about? You're clowning me because I didn't play the game day one. I don't understand what's wrong with you niggas, bro. You should have just dropped the hundred dollars on the deluxe edition. So people could watch you play and just cancel the Amazon credit uh, and get the credit. I get what he's saying. He's like, just, you should have just bought the digital version day one. I wanted a physical copy. I wanted a physical copy. I, I didn't want the digital copy, bro. So then I replied. Um, oh, no, he kept going, actually. I just thought all the Sony brokies still on PS4 would have had enough bread to cop the game on PS5 so you could play early. So now he's like taunting me because I make these PS4 jokes, basically saying you got the money, so spend it. it. At the end of the day, it's my money. I can spend it how I want to and I have other games to play. And that's what I said to him. I said, and, and listen to what I say carefully. I said, nah, I just don't care about this game enough. Not, I don't care about the game. I just don't care about this game enough. I have other games to occupy my time. It wasn't like, fuck you, Sparking Zero. I was just saying like, hey, I got Metaphor. I got Space Marines too. Um, I got other games to play. I'll just get it on Friday. Like, no big deal. That's all I was saying. Then he says, like, Undisputed. Basically insinuating I'd rather play trash games instead of Sparking Zero. Sparking Zero is the best game to talk this year. So I don't know what other games you talking about. Sparking Zero is not better than this game. Sparking Zero is not better than this game. I'm going to be honest. Sparking Zero is not better than this game. I just named three on my desk. I can name a bunch of games better than Sparking Zero, but you niggas don't play games, so you don't know any better. There's not a good one. I don't gotta... <laughs> uh, then he says, well, I guess Metaphor is probably good, but besides that, this is the best game out. What you playing? Dead Rising? Says he doesn't care. He keeps talking. He's talking to himself. Says he doesn't care about the game, but he bought the Ultimate Edition. P.S. Amazon didn't lose your game. It's the Amazon drivers. So Amazon, I think they overpromised how many copies they had because like it never even got sent out for delivery. I think they they overpromised on how much stock. They were understocked, basically. That's why I never got a copy. I never said like a driver stole my shit, but also... Um, I said, I don't care about the game enough, meaning I can wait. Like, I'll still play it, but I can wait. But I never said I don't care about the game altogether. This is why words mean something. And I just replied, the Dragon Ball community is not beating the insufferable loser allegations. Congratulations, you're blocked. Bro, only streamers play those games. What game are you talking about? Uh, yo, shout out to FC with the sub. Appreciate it. What game are you talking about? The ones I just showed? Or are you talking about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? Because I'd argue against all that. Regular people and streamers play Sparking Zero. Regular people play Space Marines 2. They play Astro Bot. They play Metaphor. Like, what, what are you talking about, bro? Uh, that's your first time typing in the chat. I, I'd suggest you tread lightly. You don't have that conversation with me. Uh, let's not move the goalposts. My Sparking Zero not coming until November 2nd off of Amazon. Yeah, that's what they told me. They told me November. I was like, I'm just not going to wait. That's literally what happened. The same thing happened to Ace, too. He said, let me find out. Niggas is just chatting. Yeah, um... Because if you're talking about, let's see, Space Marines 2, the first week it sold like 3 million copies. Uh, I don't think that 3 million people were streamers. This one, I believe it sold like 5 million like the first week. Uh, that wasn't just streamers. Metaphor sold a million in the first 24 hours. That wasn't just streamers. This didn't sell shit, but... <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta have to understand just because you don't play and then sparking zero ton, sold a ton of copies so i don't know which game you're talking about but i'm gonna be honest you don't even have to state what game you're talking about because you're just factually incorrect all the games that i listed besides star wars outlaws sold well um and you would know that if you played games but we know hey chat what is it 60 percent of gamers don't play games that are new they play games that are six years or older <laughs> they just be yapping bro uh, the difference is the reason why you might think that um, you put an Astrobot Astrobot in here. What is this? Astrobot is selling very well. Boom. 
the reason why some of you think that maybe like a game like metaphor is not selling well is because Niggas don't sit on the internet all day. You need to play Metaphor. You're a fucking fraud. Game of the year. People is like, you'll ask them like, hey, what do you think of this game? I think it's dope. Check it out. That's it. They're not insufferable. But because they're not insufferable, you have this perception that these games aren't selling well. No. You pull up articles, my boy. Um, I'm legit upset I can't play Astrobot. I don't got a PS5. I'm sh- I, I, I don't know if it'll come to PC. Because I booted up Astrobot on my phone. My um, I have a... um. A Bluetooth controller, the backbone. Uh, and like I couldn't play some levels. It worked really well with the PlayStation streaming because I was playing in the bed. The problem is the motion controls. There's certain levels you can't play from your phone. I was like, ah, this kind of sucks. So you have to play it up and but I've been playing Metaphor on my phone mainly. You're right. I'm playing Yakuza, Yakuza 4 right now. You can just be yapping, bro. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. Like enjoy your shit. But if you want to have a high level conversation, come prepared. Uh the metaphor demo made me want to cop it ASAP pretty much on an iphone 15 i got a 13 not gonna lie gang i'm playing mass effect 2 right now and that's the difference between people who really play and enjoy things and people play anytime somebody comes in here and says hey tbh and i swear it happens at least once a week i finally started playing mass effect i got the um i got the uh the, 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 the legendary edition i got the legendary edition um i always say hey you late but hey i'm happy you trying it i just be happy people try it Motherfucker said, you you started playing Sparking Zero a week, uh, uh, five days after it came out. By the way, I played it the day it came out. I didn't I didn't have it for early access. You played it the day it launched. You didn't get early access. Fuck you. Therapy. Therapy. 